Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install actual budget on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'm be installing today. Actual uh, budget. It's a local first personal finance app. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's got bu budgets, reports, schedules, pays, rules, settings. And then you can see your accounts. You can add an account. A local one and uh, you can sync it with your bank account with a go cardless and um, you can see the months up here so you can see August September and, and the budgets so I'm gonna start on Big Bear video assets there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this and I'm going to go to the search and type actual and then I'm gonna see how to install actual budget on Portana right here so now I'm gonna go in the docker and pose so version 3.8 of Docker Compose file formats being used. I'm gonna set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Actual Server. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. This is a Docker image, and then this is Docker image tag. The container name is gonna be called Big Bear Actual Server. This is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then volumes. So on the host side is actual budget data. That's a local volume that's defined down the bottom. And then on the container side is data. Do not change the container side. And then ports are 5006 on the host and 5006 on the container. Do not change the container side. And if the host port does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then now restart policy is unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to define the volume. So actual budget data. And then it's a local volume. So I'm going to go over to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel. And I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm gonna start on my portainer. I'm gonna go to stacks and then add stack up here. And I'm gonna put a stack name of actual, um, a budget stack. And then um, uh, Portainer stacks are using uh, Docker Compose underneath, which is alternatively using the Docker engine. Um, so if we go down in the web editor right here, we can paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And um, then I'm going to come down here to deploy the stack. And what this is doing is it's downloading the image off the registry, getting it extracted, getting it up with Docker Compose underneath which is using the Docker engine and also creating the volume. So we got it up and running and it's successfully deployed. So now I'm going to go over Portainer's UI. So I'm going to go in the stack and um, you'll see actions here. So stop this stack, delete this stack, create tempo from the stack, stack duplication slash migration. You can also see the editor over here. So you can edit the Docker and pose. This is very handy. Uh, and you can update the stack down here. Now, repull image and redeploy means it's going to repull the image off the registry and get the new co code if the uh, if the developer pushes to that exact same tag. Um, then it's going to redeploy it with the, the new code in that tag. So you can check mark that and uncheck mark it. So I'm going to cancel. And um, now you can see the containers down here that are in the stack. And you can go into the container and you can see actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, so edit. And these are the container actions. The cont container status right here and the ID, the name, the running for eight minutes has been running for eight minutes. 
and then created start time. You can see logs, inspect, stats, console attach. Uh, this is great for debugging logs. Um, uh, the access control, you can create image and then container details, the image, and then the port configuration on the host side is 5006, on the container side it's 5006. So the command, the entry point, the environment variables, the labels. You can also change the restart policy, and then you can update, or you can change it in the Docker Compose as well in the stack. Um, the volumes. So on the host side, it created a local volume, then in the container side is data. So now it also created a network down here, a bridge network. So that's what about Portainer's UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So I'm going to go to the Portainer's IP address and then 5006. So, so now you're going to get a fatal error. I would recommend setting up reverse proxy and uh, then you'll be using HTTPS um, uh, because this is not going to work completely on HTTP. Um, but I'm going to say advanced options and then I understand the risk and then open actual so now I'm going to put a password in. So now uh, make sure you remember this password. And also you can try the, the demo. You can press OK. You can also see the server down here. You can change it. I'm going to press OK. So you, now you can import my budget. You can view the demo and you can start fresh. I'm going to start fresh. So now you can see the accounts. Uh, over here, so, so you can rename the budget. You can go to settings, help, and close file. So um, the uh, the settings, you can see the client version, the server version, uh, themes. So you can ch uh, change the theme to light, dark, mi uh, midnight, and then the system default. The formatting of, of the numbers, dates, and first day of the week. You can hide decimal places. Um, end to end encryption and export the data and also more advanced settings down here so um, you can go to the budget and you can see the months um, reports schedules and then pays rules and then set settings now you can add an account so you can add a local account or set up go cardless for bank sync so if we go ahead and name an account testing and then we put a number in here and then just say create so now you can see it's uh it started with the ba a balance and then you can import add new uh so, so you can add an another one down here you put the pay, pay in a notes you can select a category a payment and deposit and check market and uncheck market you can also search them and um, show running balance, reconcile, link account, and cl a close account. You can also go up here and change the theme as well. I, I, you can you can click the eye right here, and then once you click it, uh, th uh, these will be uh, blurred out. Um, you can sync with the server. You can see the server is online. So that's what about actual budgets UI. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting actual budget running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.